Now, up next, it's time for Brad versus TikTok, my segment where I react to the craziest and cringiest things going viral on the clock app. TikTok has been freaking out with everything that's going on in the world, worried about a World War III, and a lot of them are posting videos, some serious, some more tongue in cheek, about why they don't want to be drafted and why they don't want to fight in World War III. We're going to take a look at one of those videos that kind of hilariously explains why this TikToker doesn't want to go to war. Reasons why I can't go to war. Number one, I get nervous. I get kind of nervous sometimes my hands get sweaty, so I don't even think I'd be able to throw anything without it slipping. Like, if I threw a grenade, it would probably just land at my feet. I'd be like, oh. Um, number two. I wouldn't know anybody there, and I have social anxiety, so that's a hard pass for me if I get drafted. <laughs> and also, like, I don't think I can have Celsius on the battlefield. I don't oh think they'd gosh. allow that. <laughs> so I, I think I'm going to have to sit this war out. So y'all have fun, though. <laughs> Keep me updated. <laughs> So a lot of people were outraged in the comments being like, we're doomed or, oh my God, Gen Z is so ridiculous or God help our nation or blah, blah, blah. And I think those people need to take a chill pill. This is obviously meant tongue in cheek. And frankly, it's kind of hilarious. I really lost it when he said, I have social anxiety. I won't know anybody there. I mean, look, if we ever were in a World War III situation where we needed a draft and we needed Gen Z to save us, I fully acknowledge we would be screwed. But that's never gonna happen. One, I don't think there's gonna be that war, but even if there was, we wouldn't have a draft ever again. The draft is immoral, and it's also not really the way that modern warfare is fought. World War III would happen mostly over cyber warfare and unfortunately, potentially through missiles flying, it wouldn't be a massive ground war where you just need raw ranks of recruits. Now, you need highly specialized people, which is what the military currently has in its all-volunteer basis. So Gen Z doesn't actually need to worry about being drafted in World War III anytime soon. But the content they keep making about it is hilarious, and this TikToker did drop a part two. Reasons why I can't go to war, part two. Number one is I'm not that good at following instructions, okay? Whenever people tell me to do something, I never do it. Relatable. My chief of command could be like, go left, go left. And my dumb ass would go right because, you know, we all know lefts and rights are very hard sometimes. I would get myself unalived. Number two, I kind of get greedy and I would try and steal all the kills because like, you oh. know, in Fortnite, I got I got something to prove. I would try to get all the kills. So I would like literally empty my coworker's gun and let all the bullets fall out. And he'd be like, Ch -ch -ch, why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? And I'd be like, yeah, I actually stole your ammo. I stole his loot. I would steal all my like coworker's loot and coworkers what the fuck is it called soldier sisters i don't number three I, I get jump scared really easily okay like if somebody comes up behind me i'm i'm freaking the f out and accidentally popping them in the head like i truly would go to jail for friendly fire so like i said i'm sitting this one out maybe don't invite me to the next war okay y'all don't want me there trust I think we finally found a point of agreement with TikTok. We don't want this dude or the other TikTokers like him head into the front lines if our country's security is at stake. <laughs> You can stay home and play Fortnite, all right? The other reason, and I don't even mean this in a negative way, I'm just like pointing out factually that many of these TikTokers don't need to be worried about being drafted or recruited to the military or anything like that, is that you're not allowed to join the military if you have a mental illness or if you take mental illness medication. So that would rule out most of these TikTokers. And I'm not even saying that with shade. That would rule me out too, right? I take medication for anxiety. I'm not shaming them. I'm just pointing out they're literally not eligible, so they don't need to freak out. Obviously, this guy is just joking around and it's all, you know, a skit like tongue in cheek. But a lot of the content on there about this is actually like intended seriously. Like young people are scared they're going to have to go to war. And that is just not justified by the facts at this point. And, and uh, like I said, most of them are probably ineligible for different reasons. But what do you think? Do you think we would be doomed if we had to rely on Gen Z to save us? <laughs> and do you have any appreciation for the sense of humor that people have on TikTok? Because I know I dunk on the app all the time and the crazy ideas and the nonsense that people are saying, but there's a lot of creativity and humor on there that I honestly really appreciate. So I want to spotlight and highlight some of that too. If you got a kick out of that, don't forget to hit the like button and comment with your thoughts and make sure you're subscribed.